Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to install Modaru on your PS TV or PS Vita and change the firmware version to an earlier version. So right now, I'm on my PS TV. This is running firmware version 3.68, which I can show you right now in settings. So if I go into system and then system information, you can see right now that this is on 3.68. So I'm just going to back out of this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is just make sure that Hencore is running. So just go ahead and start this up right now. And then just go and exit straight away or make sure um, Vita Shell and, in, and Henkaku are already installed. Since I've already got them, you should have them. We can just exit straight away. Right, so now what we need to do is go and open up Vita Shell. Once you're in Vita Shell, you actually need to make sure none of your plugins are running. So these are plugins that could be running on the URO or UXO. So what you can actually do is just go to your tie folder, press triangle and actually just rename the whole folder. So maybe change it to something like um, 123, that's probably easier. What this will do is just make sure none of your plugins are actually running. Um, so let's put tie as 123. Let's do exactly the same thing in the UXO, so tie. I'm just going to press triangle, rename, and let's just put, um, well you can put anything you want really, but I'm just going to put 123 so I can remember it. Okay, so let's just rename those and then go back. Now what we need to do is actually connect this to our computer. So I'm going to press select and get the FTP server running. So now I'm going to go back onto my computer. Let's connect it and let's install the app. So over on it, the official flows of GitHub, we can now download Modaru. So um, if you guys would like to donate him, there is actually a donation section at the bottom of the page. So make sure to check that out. He is basically one of the best people in the PlayStation Vita kind of like homebrew hacking community. But if you guys want to scroll up, here are the requirements and installation. So all you really need is advice which runs Hencore. We've got that. And it must be between 3.60 and 3.68. If you're on 3.69 or 3.70, you cannot do this yet because of course there is no hack for it but the idea is when there is you'll be able to downgrade um, to any firmware you want so make sure um, you've got a bit of battery on device or if you're on a PS TV like me it'd be fine because it's always plugged in make sure your plugins are disabled we should have done that also if you have SD to Vita make sure that's disabled as well um, if you've installed ICM Unlock, I don't know what that is, but make sure you uninstall it first. Um, I don't actually have that installed, so maybe you like YouTube search that. Okay, so what we need to do is download the Modaru VPK. Just click on this, give it one second, and it will download. Next thing we need to get is a PSP to update.pup file. So basically what this is, is a PSV to update file. Now I have got a 3.65 one because that is the firmware I wish to downgrade to. Um, he's actually put a link here to get some. If you want to get the one that I used, um, I'll probably like link it in the comments or something like that because I'm not sure if you're actually supposed to link firmwares. But once you've got the firmware, um, we actually need to install the VPK first before you do anything. So first of all, let's go to our downloads. Here's our firmware, here's our VPK. Let me open up FileZilla right now. And now what we need to do is make sure we connect to our PSTV. So let's just put in the host up here, 192.168.1.127. You shouldn't have to do this by now. And then the port is just 1337. Let's just quick connect right now. Now you guys should be able to just select these and copy them across to your UXO or any way you want on your PS Vita or um, PS TV. Unfortunately, my FileZilla just isn't working at all. So what I'm going to have to use is a USB. Um, you could also do this with the PS Vita memory card if you're not on the PS TV. Basically, I've just got a USB drive connected right here. And all I've done is just got these two files and just dragged and dropped them on the root of my USB drive. So then I can just mount it and install them that way. Obviously, FileZilla is a lot more useful, but mine isn't working and I want to make this video as quickly as possible. So yeah, that's what I'm using. So now, once you've got your files on your PS TV or PS Vita, I will show you guys what to do next. Okay, so we can close this message just by pressing a circle. And because I'm using a USB, because the FTP server just wasn't working, um, I want to press triangle and you want to select 
um, mount UMAO. As you can see, it's unmount for me. That's because I've got it mounted. But you must make sure your UMAO is mounted. If you're using a USB, if you're not, you just copy them across fine, then it doesn't even matter. So now just find your files wherever you've got them. So here they are. Here's the VPK and here is the PAP file. So what we're going to do first is just press X on the VPK to install it. Press X for yes. Then press X again. And then just wait a few seconds for it to install. Okay, so now what we can do is just back out to the home screen. And let's just find it on our home screen. So here it is, Modaru. You can actually just start this up. Now we haven't copied across our um, update file yet, but it's a probably good idea just to start it up. Um, just to make sure it works okay so if you get this message it means you have to disable all of your plugins so if you have um, you actually need to restart the device so we can do that right now so if we just back out of this um, let's just go and restart it in Vita Shell. so obviously you will need to start your um, HNCAR update quickly and now we can just start up the software and let's see if it works so there you go um, it works. Enable unsafe homebrew before using this software. Okay, so what we can actually do now is close out of this. It wants us to enable unsafe homebrew. Now this is actually in system settings. So if you go up to the settings and just press X on start. Now you might already have this enabled. I don't think I have yet obviously because I got that message. So we're just going to go into Hankaku settings. Make sure this is ticked. Press circle to go back and then just press the PS button and we can hold circle to close out of this. So now it should be working. Let's just try. Let's just start up again. And there you go. It now needs, says we need to put in our update file. So it's UXO, app, Modaru and then the thing. So we're going to hold the PlayStation button just to exit. Let's go back and start up Vita Shell. Now just find wherever your thing is, so I'm just going to mount my USB again, obviously that's where it is. If you have problems with it mounting, unplug it, plug it back in, it should work. So now we need to get the update file, press triangle, go down to copy and press X, then go back. We need to go into the UXO, now we're looking for the app folder, so press X. Now we're looking for this one, Modaru uh, 000, press X. And now you should be able to press triangle at the top and press X for paste. So this might take a while to copy across depending on where you're copying it from. Um, so let's just give this a minute. Once that's copied across, let's press circle a couple of times to go all the way back to the main menu. Press the PS button and we can now close out of Eta Shell. So now we can open up the program. Okay, so finally we've got it to a stage where we can actually downgrade. If you're still getting that kind of like error message, I would recommend going into the UXO um, tie folder and actually deleting the plugins. So under kernel, just literally remove all of them. But as you can see, we finally got to this page. It says, do you want to downgrade from firmware 3.68 to 3.65? Press X to confirm, press R to exit. Obviously, we want to downgrade. We're going to press on X to confirm. It's then going to say um, the software will make permanent modifications, obviously, um, it, and now we just have to wait 20 seconds. Okay, so now it says press X to accept, press R to exit again. So obviously, um, this is just like another uh, kind of like notification just to say, do you actually want to do it? We're going to press X um, for accept. So now it's just going to do its thing. It's going to try and downgrade. Now, I'm not actually sure how long this takes, so obviously we're going to find out. Um, but yeah, let's just wait for it to do its thing. Okay, so it's going to come up with the system update screen and just say, please wait. So we're just going to wait um, for it to actually notice the update. And here you go, system update, installing the system software. Do not power off the system, obviously. Make sure it does not power off. That's why you need 50% of charge. Um, or if you've got a PS TV, obviously it's going to be plugged in. So let's just wait. 30 seconds left. Okay guys, so once your device has restarted, we can now see if um, the firmware has actually been downgraded. So let's go over to the system settings. We can have a look at our system information. So if we scroll down, it's system right here. Uh, system information and there you go guys system software 3.65 this is how you downgrade your PS Vita or PS TV um, but you have to be on 3.68 and you have to have Hencore installed or you can actually be on any firmware you just must have access to custom firmware to launch the applications so that is pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one